get started. Okay, so we've got our hair tutorial page open here in Designer Pro 11. And as you can see, I've got a few little items on the page here. I've done some prep work for us and we're ready to start. And I've got my page and layer gallery over here. You'll notice I've got some extra pages on there. These are just going to allow me to quickly whip through this and they're basically swap outs. And you'll just be getting the one page to start on where you can work and do all your your wonderful hair creating on one page. All right. So let's have a quick look at the layers I've got set out here on this page. You can see I've got one for hair, which is obviously where the layer you're going to create most of your hair on. And we've got layer one, which is going to be the main drawing. That's going to be the layer where our little mannequin head here is. And you've got hair back. So no, we're not going to give it a hairy back. <laughs> this is just going to be a layer we're going to use just for some underneath shading, kind of the underneath of the hair that might peek through the top layer and so on. So our mannequin here is going to serve two pur purposes. One is going to give us somewhere to put our hair and two it's going to give us an indication where the light source is coming in the drawing. I've chosen to create this little light source is coming down from the top left. So we've got our shading here that indicates indicates that. So now, now let's take a look at the brush that you're going to be using. This is the brush here that I created. This is our brush definition object. And how I created it, I used basically the bullet brush from the line art brushes. If you download the line art brushes that I donated to the gallery, you'll have it there. I've already also got it here in the document in case you want to experiment with creating your own hairbrush. And you can see I've got some color swatches here. I used these color swatches to create these little lines here that I used to quickly switch colors when I was drawing with the... Uh, and anyhow, we... Mm, mm. So after drawing all my lines with the bullet brush, then I converted them to an editable shape simply by going up here to arrange and I'm going to convert line to shape. And that converted all my shapes, all my lines to, to vector shapes. And then from there, I simply grouped them and created my art brush. So anyhow, let... All right. So before we start creating some hair with our brush, I'm going to use these swatches up here and I'm going to use the shape painter tool. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And you want to make sure it's set to paint over here. And we're just going to use some of these colors and we're going to, by selecting this first, and then I'll draw down here and we're going to just block in some of the colors areas for our hair. So, and I'm going to start on the hair layer, the hair back layer, and I'm just going to blend And one on this side. There we go. Now we're going to go up to the hair layer. And I'm going to uh, block in here some Just create a basic shape here and it's just going to give us a basic shape for our it doesn't have to be extremely neat and tidy which is just, just basically quick blocking as to where the hair is going to go and I'm just going to take the brush size down Lock in for some bangs. And get it. Oh, 
highlights here and this kind of gives you the basic idea of how you're going to do your blocking. Now I'm going to open all of this up here and what we're going to do is I'm going to go on the hair layer first. I'm going to go down here and oh my god. I'm going to hold shift and select all these shapes and I'm simply just going to hit control G on my keyboard and group them all together. There's a reason for grouping this which you'll see towards the end of the tutorial. Okay, so now that's blocked in place. We'll close that up again. And now we're going to select our free, we're going to select our free hand tool and we're going to go here. Now I'm going to, up here we're going to set the point size. I'm going to start working fairly big. I'm going to set it to about 24 point. And we're going to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to start on the hair back layer. And the first little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the transparency tool here. And I'm going to change the transparency to a multiply transparency. And I'll back that off just a bit. Make sure we've got our hairbrush. And we're just going to draw a few more lines back here. And you can see how it's drawing them in the back behind everything. Another one slightly bit different direction there. Just kind of give it a little bit. There we go. And I'm getting some screen garbage here, I guess, with the recording going. Alright, so that's that part of it done. So now I am going to go with nothing selected. I'm going to go back into my transparency tool and I am going to just go from this and go to a normal mix. And I'm going to just drop the transparency a bit around eight nine that should be fine make sure we're on the layer hair and make sure that is selected we got our brush and I'm just gonna start drawing bump up the point size to about 36 point yeah that's better for stars and I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm going to I'm just drawing a few layers here and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw a few more layers on the top. Maybe we'll just adjust this one. That's one of the nice things about it. While you're working, you can come back, you can adjust your lines, get them to go where you want, and you're going to continue building up layers of lines and you can go back to the here and I'm going to go drop down to 16 point and the smaller you drop your nine size down the more uh, detail it's going to give you in your hair and you can experiment with dropping the different line sizes and, and uh, just basically you're going to build up like that and you can do the bangs areas in here same thing you're going to build it all up and you're going to keep going building up layer upon layer adding in more definition until you get something you like so I'm going to swap here to my fully done one here and you can see I've got quite a few different strokes on here and um, it's at this point still messy looking. That doesn't matter. I'm going to show you the very end how to tidy it up. And 
you'll notice I was already seeing some screen garbage there and I think most of that a lot of it is because of recording um, I'm moving from this point on I'm going to be using a lot of bitmaps in here just just to keep from having a lot of uh, issues with the screen recorder running one thing you can do if your system is slowing down as you, you're drawing and I'll just undo that, I don't want to get that in there you can have a bitmap layer so you could take your vector layer once it's all done and completed and group it and then you can create a bitmap copy and then insert the bitmap copy over top and then use your I'll show you what and so you can see here I've got a photo bitmap here that I'm working on and you could have your vector group underneath the photo and then you could just um, put the little eye icon to hide the vector group and then you work on your your photo for the next section of shading and color blending that we're going to do here in a minute and then uh, at the very end you could get rid of all of your bitmap layers and just have all your vector layers and it would be 100% vector and a little bit quicker and easier to go along anyways let's get into some color blending here whoops so we're going to be using the same brush that we used before and you're going to be doing some use some of the new transparency modes and we're going to add in some more colors and a little bit of shading into this to get the hair a little bit more depth and texture. So with nothing selected we're going to go in our transparency tool and I'm going to start by going down here to the hard light. And there's the hard light now selected. I'm going to I'll leave it at that. That should be alright. We're going to go and we're going to go back to this and then I'm just going to start drawing in some nice strokes just and you'll see how it adds just a, it's a darker color and at this point with the first stroke selected we could go back in here and we could say bump it up to maybe around 20 percent and that will take it down few more of these strokes in here so you can see how it, it works and I'm just going to uh, change the way this one is bending a little bit and you can see it's bringing in some some really nice tones and you can adjust the uh, the amount that it's showing. Nothing selected. I'm just going to go in here and adjust this a bit more. And back to here. And I'm going to continue on. I'm going to put some into the bangs just to show you. Down a few more into here. Come up there, and you can already see how it, it's adding a little bit more depth. And how they just so nicely blend together. Alright, so now I'm going to skip down here, and I've got my next one it's all done and I've got some darker ones that I've added in and lighter ones and it's added a little bit more depth to the hair it's looking pretty good but it still needs some highlights and the highlights are just going to be show you where the lights hitting on the hair and it's really going to bring some more life into the hair and <clears throat> so to do the highlights, I'm just going to quickly go up here with nothing selected. I'm going to change our transparency from a hard light 
to the screen or bleach transparency. And I'm going to leave it at 30% right now. And I'm going to make my stroke a little bigger to start with. And I'm going to put it up to 24 point. And I'm going to start by, and again with, with this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with some bigger, bigger strokes like so. And I'm just going to go and gain another one like that. Right, I'm going to put another one down into here. I think it might catch some on this side. And I'm going to go down to a 12 point stroke. And we're going to just do a little bit in the bangs. And then we're going to go one more time just to quickly show you and I'm going to drop this down to about a four point stroke and at this point make sure nothing is selected I'm also going to change this and I'm going to drop this way down so you can have a much brighter highlight and I'm just going to quickly go in here and start painting in these brighter highlights and you'll want to keep doing this in different areas where the hair is going to be catching the light more and again maybe some more down in here and just keep painting in these bright highlights maybe you want one up in here too The screen garbage here. And I'm just going to show you another quick way to uh, increase some of the highlighting that you, you're doing quickly is I'm going to go up here and I am just going to marquee select like some of those lines and just hit control K and you can see the highlights now are coming up much more and you can nudge them over and you can go in and play with this and, and get it so that it's you know change the way the lines bend and, and adjust the length of the lines but you can sort of see what's happening here and you can see it better down here on my next version, that it love. And you can see how I adjusted the line lengths and, and, and fixed it up somewhat. And you can see how it's catching the light here, not quite as bright as it's hitting here, but it's catching the light here and places in her bangs. So this is pretty much most of the hair drying. But you can see it's still a little bit messy. There's places where you can see the color blocking showing through and at this point it may be getting unwieldy again so at this point you can go in and make groups and bitmaps again and i'm just going to show you what i've got okay so down here on this layer you this page you can see i've got a photo bitmap this is what i'm going to be working on to show you because it's going to be a lot quicker with my screen casting software i've got my group here is is, is hidden underneath which is all of the uh, hair that we've done so far like I explained before and this group down here is the color blocking layer so I'm going to start by selecting the color blocking layer and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab the eraser tool and now you can see I've got it set at a softness of about 83 percent and I've got it quite small at one end. I'm going to pull that up to start with and basically, with the color blocking group selected, this is why we grouped it in the beginning. I'm just simply going to go in. And one important thing before we start cleaning this up, 
is to go into the transparency and make sure that there is no transparency set because it will affect your eraser tool. And then we're just going to simply go in make sure our blocking group is selected again and just start erasing just the edges of the, the blocking where it shows through the tips of your bangs and like that and you can go down in here and simply do this you know, do the uh, end of your hair as well and places up in here where it's a little rough you can uh, Select your top layer and just simply uh, make it kind of smooth things out. And you can smooth your hair a little bit there. I'm going to go too far there. down here to the uh, color blocking layer now if you, you can see I took a little bit too much out here so it's just a simple matter of moving down the shift key which actually switches you back into the shape painter and you can kind of paint it back in and then maybe drop down the size of the brush and just tidy it up that way and same thing same token too you can also go down into here and just simply uh, Maybe you could trim some of the longer hairs a bit. You could do a little bit of trimming on some of the hair in her bangs too. And trim that one out a little bit. Now, when you're all done tidying up and trimming your hair and basically tidying it up, I'm just going to take you down here. And this was my final output with a little bit more time spent on it and basically that's my techniques for painting hair thanks for watching